Has this ever happened to you? It's not the end of the world. You can do this. You just need to know the right procedures and know where and when to look. Like anything else, it takes practice, but before that practice begins, let's make sure you have the step-by-step -step instructions down. Before we begin, let's understand the course itself. You've got five cones, two in the back, which we will call the back cones, two in the middle that are called the middle cones, and the one in the front, which is called the front cone or point cone. It's nine feet from the left side to the right side, and 20 feet from the back cones to the middle two cones, then an additional 20 feet from the middle two cones to the front or point cone. In the following video, it will show you exactly how to perform the maneuverability exam correctly. You begin with the front of the car, even with the back two cones, coming to a complete stop with the middle of the car centered on the front cone. With your foot on the brake, you will progress forward at a snail's pace, keeping the center of the car centered on the front cone. When your elbows are even with the middle two cones, you will turn your wheel sharp left or right, depending upon which side you're going to, until the middle of the car breaks the center plane of the maneuvering box. The center plane would be an imaginary line running directly from the front cone straight to the back two cones. When the front of the car breaks that center plane, you will then turn back in the opposite direction bringing your car back straight and parallel with the maneuvering box or block. You will progress forward and stop with the rear of the car, even with the front cone. At this point, you will put your car in reverse, reverse your car until the front cone is about even with the front side of your back tires. At that point, you'll turn your wheel sharp left or right to put the rear of the car facing back into the box and you will watch either the left or right rear cone completely disappear behind your car. In reality, what you're trying to do is center the rear of the car up with the middle two cones. Once you have that, you will progress back until the back of the car passes through the two cones, at which time you will turn either left or right to center the rear of the car up with the back two cones, keeping your eyes focused behind you. You will progress backwards until your body is inside the four cones, at which time you may look forward to make sure the front of your car is centered on that front cone. You should progress back until the front of the car is even with the back two cones and back at your original starting point. 